take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. 2,000 cans. At stated CRV value of 5 cents per can, you'd need $100 per 5 cents equals 2,000 cans to get $100. If you got the above by weight price of $1.60 per pound, you'd need 62.5 pounds of cans to get your $100. At 31 cans per pound, you'd need 1938 cans. Make your mark, take our lead. For multiple stream recycling, where everything is separated, yes, crushed cans can help save space making transporting recyclables more efficient. For single stream recycling, where recyclables are mixed and are separated at a materials recovery facility, MRF cans should not be crushed. Take our lead. Depending on the material, it may be on the brittle side and subject to tearing easily. I would recommend saying with a 30 gallon size as it would be much easier to handle as can take reasonable number of cans. The smaller bag would hold about 175 to 200 whole cans and if crushed you're pushing the 450 to 500 level. Take our lead. Not removing caps or lids from glass bottles, jars. Most people leave caps or lids on glass bottles and jars but they should actually be removed. A. Uh, because it makes it easier to recycle the glass and B. The caps or lids won't actually get recycled when they're mixed in with glass. Take our lead. Stay away from cans, it's way too much work for crap aluminum. If your furnace is more efficient, hotter, you'll get more MG and other crap in your AL and you can't sell it. But it's really fun to melt down cans and use the AL for other projects. Take our lead. Depending upon the market for high-grade aluminum, the Ronald McDonald House receives between 40 cents to 50 cents per pound of pop tabs. It takes roughly 1,128 pop tabs to equal one pound. That means that at best, a pop tab is worth about $0.0004. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.